Hello and welcome to my channel, How To with Paul Henderson. Today's episode, I will be showing you how to input the correct tire size height into your vehicle's computer using the Pulsar LT. I had installed this Pulsar LT about eight weeks ago to disable the DFM and to turn off the auto start stop feature that is currently on these vehicles. But I didn't do the tire size correction. So today I'm gonna to show you how to do that. It is pretty simple. My vehicle actually came with a 255 70 17. Those tires have a tire height of 31.1. My new tire is a 265 70 17, which has a tire height of 31.6. I know it doesn't sound like much, but what that correlates to is that if the speedometer says 60 miles an hour, I'm actually doing 61.0. And uh, just say if it was the reverse, these came with a 265, you went down to 255, the speedometer would be, if you were uh, traveling 60, as what the speedometer would say, you would actually be doing 58.97, I believe. So that's like, uh, you know, just over one mile an hour less. Or in my case, I'm actually traveling one mile per hour over the 60. So to find the actual tire size height of a, of a specific tire, you can go to your app store. You can download, let's see, I got it right here. Let me go ahead and look it up real quick. It is called Tire Calculator Pro. You can, get, you can download the regular tire calculator, which is free. I upgraded to the Pro for $5 for a one-time fee. You go to uh, Tire Conversion. You punch in your tire size that you currently have. So this is a 265 70, 17 and it measures a 31 points, uh, 31.6. Now, if you don't know what the original tire size that comes on these vehicles are, or on your vehicle, you open up your door panel, I mean your door, and on the door seal, it actually tells you the, the correct, um, what does it say on here? Original tire size right here on the door seal. So you need to punch in those numbers to get the original tire size that this uh, vehicle is programmed for. So this is a 255 70 17, which is a 31.1 inch tire. I have the 265s, which is a 31.6. So we're gonna go ahead and jump in the vehicle and I'll show you how to program the Pulsar LT with uh, the new tire measurements. Like I said, you need both tire measurements, the original tire that comes on the vehicle and the tire that you're replacing it with. So let's go ahead and jump in the vehicle and I'll show you how to do it. To gain access to the Pulsar's programming menu, you are gonna be using the cruise control buttons right here. If you have a key ignition, you will turn the key to the run position. If you have a keyless, you're gonna push and hold the button in for five seconds, but do not put your foot on the brake. Okay, so it's ready to go. So now what you're gonna do is go over here, push and hold the cancel button for five seconds. Sweeps to 140, so now you're inside the Pulsar LT's program menu. You're gonna scroll up to 30. So you're gonna use the resume set, resume set button for that. So we'll resume up to 30, hit the cancel button once. And now what you're gonna to need to do is punch in the stock tire size that was designed for this vehicle. And this one is a 31.1. So I'm gonna go down to set minus one. So it's 31, hit set. And now you have to do the decimal. So I'm gonna go up to one and hit cancel. And now you have to enter the new tire size, which is a 31.6. So I'm gonna go down to 31, hit the cruise cancel to set it. And now I'm gonna do the decimal. So I'm gonna go up to six and hit cancel to set it. Sweeps to 140 to let you know that it's been uh, programmed in. That's it.
Well, that was simple. So now my speedometer is going to display the correct speed. The one thing I noticed before I actually did this uh, tire correction a couple weeks ago, because I wanted to test it out, on my GPS, if I was doing 65, my speedometer said I was doing like 66, 67. Now, and if you have a larger tire and that correct tire size is into the car's computer and you go to a smaller tire and don't do the correction, your speedometer is gonna read less than you're actually traveling. So now, mine is perfect. So if you like this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. That really helps out my channel and the bell icon and you get notifications as new videos come out. And like all my other videos, there are a few bloopers at the end of this one. I didn't get too many, it went pretty smooth. So I guess that's it. Enjoy your day and uh, drive safe and no speeding. And I didn't have any beer today. That's probably why everything went smoother. <laughs> anyway, have a good day. See you later, bye. Test one, test two, test three. Test one, test two, test three. Hello and welcome to my channel, How To With Paul Henderson. Damn it. Up and down the stairs too many times. Fuck. Gotta take a break. And if you're not too sure, so if you don't have the original tire on here and you have an aftermarket one, Go ahead and open up your door panel. I mean, your door. God. Fucking Amazon. Fuck Amazon. God dang it. Pretty simple, right? So, with all that out of the way, one more time. <laughs> I really should go get a beer first. I am fucking thirsty with a smaller size tire input and a larger tire, the speedometer, the speed that you're actually going will be, oh, what is it? A little bit faster than the actual speedometer is reading <laughs> before, before, the, um, before the new inputs. <laughs> Did I get that right? Let me see if I can get this right. So if you, have a larger tire and you go with a smaller one and don't change the tire size input. If you're doing 60, oh shoot, now I can't remember. Another stupid airplane. I don't know if you can hear it, but it, uh, it <laughs> bums me out. The one thing I noticed before, before I actually did this uh, um, tire size, tire, tire size height recalibration inputting, whatever you want to call it, and my cat got out. Hey, Tango. Tango. What's up, little buddy? <laughs> I'm gonna do this take one more time. Another fucking airplane, another goddamn fucking airplane. Fuck these airplanes, man. Son of a bitch. And yes, I had a beer inside the vehicle. So now my speedometer will read the correct speed that I'm traveling. The one thing that I had noticed uh, before this, uh, before I actually did the tire size recalculation into the computer or the retire, uh, bitch. <laughs> 